Congressman Lauren Make was in Harrisburg for the debate. She's back with us now, and she spent time talking with voters and political insiders. How significant did this debate turn out to be? Yeah, guys, that's what people are trying to figure out yeah. right now as we are speaking. It was a first chance for a lot of voters to see John Fetterman taking questions in real time after his stroke, and they could see when he stumbled. And keep in mind, it's not just about people who watched the debate last night, but they are now seeing clips on Twitter. They're seeing both campaigns promote the parts that they want people to see and remember. Human rights matter! From a jumble of protests, supporters, and signs we saw outside to the high stakes moments inside. Hi, good night, everybody. I'm running to serve Pennsylvania. He's running to use Pennsylvania. I'm running for the U.S. Senate because Washington keeps getting it wrong. John Fetterman takes everything to an extreme. The debate that showed clashes in policy also put the candidates themselves on display. Democrat John Fetterman using closed captioning as he recovers from a stroke with lingering issues evident. It was difficult to watch because uh, I watched uh, John Fetterman, you know, struggling uh, with uh, reacting to the hype, fast pace of the of the debate and also how facile Oz was on it, you know, it was no, no problem for him. Weaver Lilly's support for Fetterman, though, not shaken. But I hope that people will look at that and think that, yeah, I can identify with struggling. That's what Fetterman's team and Democrats are hoping, too. This was always going to be an away game for John. Uh, he's going up against someone who's been on TV for 25, 20, 25 years. Uh, it's, it's his home turf. Mustafa Rashid is a Democratic political consultant. He says Fetterman's campaign should release more medical records. Releasing additional medical records to reassure people um, uh, it should be something that they do. Republican consultant Chris Nicholas was at the debate. I find it difficult to believe that any undecided voters would be able to get past John Fetterman's impediment to actually determine whether the content of his answers uh, were appealing to them. But what about policy? Did you feel like they answered the questions? They certainly did not answer any of the questions, not both of them. Fetterman's campaign is focusing on one answer from Oz about abortion. As a physician, I've been in the room when there's some difficult t conversations happening. I don't want the federal government involved with that at all. I want women, doctors, local uh, political leaders, letting the democracy that's always allowed our nation to thrive to put the best ideas forward so states can decide for themselves. Saying something like that is far more harmful than not saying anything at all. So I think a lot of Democrats want to make up this fantasy land where there's no law involved in this issue. Uh, that's just not how it's ever worked. Uh, it's not how it's going to work. That abortion comment from Oz has now been made into an ad by the Fetterman campaign. Now, Oz today was back out on the campaign trail in Harrisburg where that debate took place at an event with former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley focusing on crime. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. Lauren.